Hello and welcome to my tutorial on utilizing an any object in your ClickTeam application. This video will show you how to integrate an any object and how you can use it for things such as save files. Now, let's get started. First off, you will need to make sure that extension for the any object is installed on ClickTeam. Note that the free version does not have the ability to install extensions and as such, you'll only be able to use the any object in paid versions. Go into view in the top left corner and scroll down to extensions manager. Click it and a box will appear, showing all the extensions you can get and have already got. Using the box at the top, type in any. Here I already have it installed, but if you don't have it installed already, click the install button which would be where Fusion is next to the any extension here. Now we need to make it into a way we can make it work. Go into insert an object and select the any file. Drop it anywhere, preferably out of sight outside the frame. Once you've done that, go into the properties here, usually in the bottom left. Name the any file and you're ready to go. Here I will create a simple game. In this game, you click the counter and it goes up. I will show you how to make a save file for this game, so when you quit the game, the counter does not reset to zero. This is where you go into the event editor and set an event for it. Here I will make it so it always saves but you might only want it to save after clicking a button or finishing a level. You need to name a group and an item, though the names can be pretty much anything. Here I will set it to the counter's value. Now, if you go where your computer's files are after playing through it, as shown here, you'll find that you now have an any file named the same as the one you named in your object. If you open it in notepad, you'll see the group, item, and value it was last set to. You can set it to any value here. This value does not do anything yet, but we're about to change that. Go back into click team and set a new event. Here, I will load the value at the start of the frame, so you could load it at any moment in the frame. Now, if I enter back in, the counter should be higher than it normally starts at. If I increase it and leave, then come back, it should begin even higher. Now you successfully installed and used an any object. You can use the counter for something else, such as holding which level you are on, the position of something on one axis, the score of a safe game, and more. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something out of this. Goodbye.